Every time I need to display a number on the LCD, I have to write all of these lines. These, there's four lines here. The first line is I'm changing a, or I'm, I'm storing a value, a, an integer value, into a string. And this is base 10, which is the standard um, number system that we use. And then I'm having to um, give it a location on the LCD. Um, and this, in this case, it's uh, the, the top corner of the screen, 1, 1, um, x value and y value. And this, this, um, then I have to actually send the string of the, of the integer stored uh, integer in the string using the send a string command to the LCD. And then I'm having to send a string of a leading space so um, any residual zeros um, get erased. But I want to make put all this into one line instead of having to write all these four lines over and over again because I'm um, in new programs that I'm making and for new t tutorials I have a lot of these things I have so many of this stuff going on so I'm, I'm gonna um, create a, a new command called send an integer to Mr. LCD and then inside of that in the parameters will be an X location a Y location and the actual value, which is, in this case, it would be the 10-bit value. And then I'm going to have to tell it a, a width because, or a number of digits, because we don't know if this is going to, this 10-bit value is going to be um, four digits or three digits or whatever. In a lot of cases, um, our library won't, won't be able to know how many digits this will contain. So we have to actually tell the library um, how many digits so we can set up an array uh, to hold it. So in this case, it'll be four digits. Um, let's see, I think I created that. Yeah, the ADC result, four digits here. We can also take get rid of this once we're done, so we can not have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then a semicolon. So this will be the entire line, and all of this stuff can go away. So this is what we'll, this is what we'll be able to see now. Send an integer to Mr. LCD. It'll be at the location X and Y with the 10-bit value, or with the value in general. It doesn't have to be a string, it's just a, um, an integer value. And with the width or number of digits being four. So let's go ahead and write the code in the library and get this line to work. Before we go and create another routine for putting an integer on the LCD screen at a particular location, I want to actually add another send a string um, where do we have it? Right here. We have the send a string, and this is just a raw code to send a um, a string of characters to the LCD, and it has and it's has nothing to do with the location. But I want to make a send a string to Mr. LCD at location, and then we can have uh, an X and Y location for that as well. That will also help us in creating the uh, the new routine for sending a number to the, or sending an integer to the LCD with a location, because all we would need to do is use the send a string with location um, under that routine. So let's get started with that. Let's first make the send a string. We haven't actually done any code changes yet. We're gonna create another, uh, we'll, we'll just do it by hand actually, It'll be easier. Void, we're gonna create a new send a string with location. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be more um, verbose with the, the name of this because um, I don't want this to be mixed up with any other variables that I may be using later on. So I'm gonna say to Mr. LCD with location. Okay, and I'm gonna use the same um, declarations that I have in the go to Mr. LCD's location. So we're going to put in our string of characters. We can actually take it from here. And now we can put in our code block brackets. And all I have to do in here is specify the go to Mr. LCD's location. I can just copy it here actually. And specify the X and Y. We don't have to put in the declaration here, obviously. And now we have it going to the X and Y that we have passed in. And then all we need to do is send a string. And it will be string of characters. And this is all we need to put in for this particular routine. It's just gonna go to a particular location and it's going to send a string of characters 
it's going to be calling this, so it's calling two of the, the routines that we already have. It's calling this routine, going to a particular location, and then it's calling send a string just to put the string of characters um, at the location that we specified here. So now we have a new command, send a string to Mr. LCD with location, and now we have the ability to use that new command in our uh, programming, but we also have it so we can create our new, uh, a new command of sending an integer um, with the location to the Mr. LCD. So let's go ahead and start programming that one. I'm just going to get the one we already made. I'm just, I'll just copy and paste this one so we know we have exactly what we want. And now we're going to make the declarations. So this is going to be the same, pretty much the same as the go to Mr. LCD. So we have the correct declaration here. And the 10-bit value, we could probably use cars, but I'm going to keep, the, keep what we had before. This will change to a regular integer. And we'll have this called integer to display. And we'll need another, we're going to use car for this one. This is a really small number. Number, number of digits. Inside of this, code block will have to declare our array. That's going to be a car, and this will be a string array. String to display, and inside the brackets, this is going to be our length of our, our, our array. So we're just going to use the number of digits here, and now we can use our converter, ITOA. This is the integer to string converter, and we're going to be converting the integer to display that's passed in and we're going to be storing it to string to display and this is going to be in base 10 human readable numbers this is where we use our brand new send a string to mr lcd with location command and we'll just do a copy and paste it's a lot easier and we're going to put in the location which is the x and y we have here x comma y comma and then we're going to be displaying the string to display and to get rid of any leading zeros, we'll just put in send a string with a space. We're finished with that. We need to put in our prototypes, so let's go ahead and uh, let's start with this one. Copy, and we'll paste it on the bottom. And by the way, it is good that we have our, our standard library because that's um, using the, S, uh, the ITOA. We're actually doing the conversion from integer to, to string so we need this library. I actually had this in there by, by accident, but we were using it in, in the main most of the time anyway. So it's good that this is in here, so we're able to use the ITOA command. So let's get the other one, send an integer, copy that one. And all we, oh, I have to void, to put a void here. Uh, just put in the semicolons and, and that should be it. Let's go back to the main C. So we should have a new command now, send an integer to Mr. LCD. Um, location is X and Y. 10-bit value is our value that we want to pass into the library. And it's going to be four, four digits long. Now we can go to Mr. LCD.h. Let's recap this. We have two new commands. We have send a string with, to Mr. LCD with location. We have X, Y, and the character pointer. We have also send an integer to Mr. LCD with the X and Y. It brings in the integer of um, what we want to display. It also brings in the number of digits that, that um, string will contain. And we've created two new commands here with, uh, with the code. And the first one was send a string to Mr. LCD with location. And all we did was use the existing commands that we have. Go to um, LCD's location, X, Y, sending a string, string of characters. <coughs> And we have send an integer to the Mr. LCD. We used the, we created an array. We created an array. That is the width that we specified in the, in the main program. And we do our conversion. We send the converted string to the display at the correct location with the new, the new command that we just made. And we put a, put a following or trailing uh, space so we get rid of any zeros or any artifacts that um, still exist on the on the screen because when you put something on the screen it remains on the screen 
I forgot to put a void here, so I want to make sure I do that. Okay, so let's go back to the main, and we want to put in the actual location that we want to use, and not just this X and Y. And with that, we should be okay to make and program the microcontroller. Let's see if it works. So the microcontroller has been programmed, and as you can see, it is still working the same way it was before. We have successfully created a new command in our library that um, displays a number at any part of the screen that we want with just one line of code. Thank you for watching. Adding a trailing space is probably not the best technique to use because if you have a number that was just previously displayed at like five digits and then another one was displayed at like two digits, this would not erase all of the artifacts. So let's find a better way. What I'm gonna do is create a, a way to um, just put a lot of spaces at the number of digits and at this um, X and Y locations, location just before it prints the new number on the screen, on the display. And what this does is it essentially uh, reserves or puts a bunch of spaces at this number of digits um, just before it displays, just, just to clear the area. And it won't be clearing any more of the screen that you need it to clear. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use a for loop and we're gonna um, use a, the i as the, as the variable in the for loop. And as long as i is less than the number of digits, um, it will increment i. It will do the loop as long as the i is less than the number of digits. And it's starting at zero, so we're using the less than. If we start at one, we could use less than or equal to. And then all we do is um, we use this code right at the end, and it'll do the number of um, this number of characters in a row in that location. So it puts a bunch of spaces in there, and then it displays the the, the number. So let's go ahead and try this and see if it works. Okay, so we've programmed the microcontroller and you can see that the number is displaying on the on the display. And you'll also notice that the cursor is right after this this character there. And that is a really good thing because now we don't have that space, that trailing space afterwards. And you can still see the number really well. So that means that the um, erasing of the number and then redisplaying of the number doesn't make it flicker at all and it's just it would be too fast to to be able to see it the since we're putting the um the re reservation of spaces just before this we're doing it just before it displays so the improvement's been made and it works really well thank you for watching